that's all set up so perfectly and now I don't have anything to say. Sunday, prayer day. Anima A gives you good. That's what you, what it's called in Ojibwe. But I don't feel like praying on camera right now. Alright. Take three. Take three. Welcome back to Quitting Weed by Michael Lyons. This is Quitting Weed number 17. The online video diary of... I'm going to quit on, you know, introducing myself as a marijuana addict. I went to a Narcotics Anonymous meeting, man. It was like, it was like joining a cult. You sat around a table and everybody in monotone recited the serenity prayer like it was a chant. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. You know. And then you would introduce yourself as, Hello, my name is Michael, and I'm an addict. Well, I'm more than that. <laughs> there's, there's other things about my personality that are kind of, will tell you more about who I am than, Oh, and I'm addicted to marijuana. But anyway... So I started this uh, video to um, document my progress on the road to recovery. So I might impart my wisdom and my experience and in turn help others give up their dependency on cannabis. Maybe I could be a cautionary tale to the next generation look out kids just say no you know and i made it about a week <laughs> then i relapsed and now i'm still doing the videos because i i told the viewers that well okay i'll be honest if if i cheat i'm not going to come out here and pretend i didn't relapse so I relapsed, but what I didn't expect was that the relapse does isn't necessarily a one-time thing. It might be a relapse and you go, ah, the heck with it. You just start smoking again, which is what I did. <laughs> but I learned a few things. Number one, you have to respect Bushko BGK. Bushko BGK. Weed. In Ojibwe, we call it Bushko BGK. Um, I, ha I have developed a dependency on it, but I've I was also abusing it. You know, in Ojibwe, they call it a love medicine because it uh, it enhances your your sensual experiences, the experience of your of your senses. It makes food taste better and smells smell sweeter. Colors are a little more pleasant. It'll soften your heart a little bit. Music sounds better. And so it's a perfect medicine. And that's all medicine men are good for. They just know what medicines work for whatever. Oh, you have a headache? Well, use this medicine. It's called aspirin. That was a medicine man who came up with that. <laughs> you know, but weed is just that. Now, some of us find out that, hey, you know what? I can smoke some of this love medicine and the things I love to do will be enhanced. So, you know, I'm something of an artist and a musician. And over the years, I've enhanced my sensual experience of playing music, writing songs, drawing pictures, writing stories, telling stories, coming up with creative projects, comic strips, puppet shows. <laughs> and I can't be a don't smoke marijuana kids it might 
really improve your life. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's a cost. You know, it's not free. Weed doesn't just grow on trees, kids. Wait. <laughs> but, you know. It's a lifestyle. Anyway. I was also surprised to find out when you relapse, you don't necessarily feel guilty about it. You know, the recovery mind is all about change and growth. And it's also, you know, it's almost biblical in a way where, where you're born again into this life of sobriety and you have to kill that monkey on your back that is your addiction. Yeah, yeah. I could see that being a thing. But when you relapse and the monkey is still there, you go, oh, hey, buddy. Here, I'm going to feed you a banana. I'm used to having that monkey on my back, you know? Yeah, it'll probably kill me in the end. I, I am kind of like a fat person who just goes, ah, to heck with it. Yeah, I'm just going to have an, I'm just going to go to Dairy Queen. I don't care. So here we are. <laughs> and this has been Quitting Weed, number 17. I think. Thank you so much for watching. Miigwech. Chi miigwech. Gabizendawiyek. Thank you for watching. And I will see you again. Gigawabamin. Minowa. I got a body built for sin and an appetite for passion. Start the music. It's, it's time, time to, to light, light the, the lights. lights. It's time to get things started on the most, most sensational, sensational, inspirational, celebrational, celebrational. <laughs> This is <laughs> what we call the Muppet Show. Hi, everybody. Bushu. Bushu Nish Anishinaabe Du. Hello, my fellow. Anishinaabe Dukes, and welcome <laughs> back to Bushu Nana Bushu, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. Ha, huh, sweetie. That's right, baby doll. You tell them. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Natasha. This over here, Hoa. Oh, get out of here. The one and only <laughs> Nana Bushu, Ikadon Bushu, Dee Weenie Mushane. Say hello, sweetheart. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we just wanted to um, take a minute. We're going to go for a little joy ride. Take the, the old spaceship out for a, for a ride. I wanted to make sure that, that it still had, um, you know, it still run. And uh, anyway. Wow, we're really up here high, huh, sweetie? Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? Oh, I almost forgot. Hey, if you'd like to um, join our live stream, we're coming on live uh, tonight um, at 8 o'clock p.m. on YouTube. Gawapa bingani ka, gawapa bingani ka, gawapa bingani ka, and don't you buy it. Gawapa bingani ka, gawapa bingani ka. Gawa ba bingani ka, and 
Begani Kog, Nindunja Ba. White Earth is where I'm from. <laughs> Gawa Ba, Begani Kog, White Earth, or the place where there's an abundance of white clay. That's what they call White Earth. And this is our uh, Ojibwe word of the day. What do you think, sweetie? Oh, I think Should it's a great word. Ojibwe word of the day? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So welcome back to the show. Welcome back to Boozhoo, Boozhoo. Nana, Nana Boozhoo, Boozhoo, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. I am Nana Boozhoo, and this is Natasha. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 